All right, guys. So today's video, as you saw by the title, is about DLSS frame generation being a thing on Linux now, because uh, it all started with this pull request called VK underscore NV optical flow Q. And this is the first step to DLSS. And then we had this big boy right here pushed to wine. Well, not this one. This one came first. Okay. And this seems to be currently under review and doing its thing. But this was the next step. This goes in your system 32. And then we had this guy, which goes in wine, which allows the whole thing to work. It's nice. It functions. It's great. Now, I currently have a game open in the background with DLS frame gen enabled, and uh, you can turn it off and on, do whatever you need to. We'll also be taking a look at Cyberpunk and Hogwarts Legacy. I think these three games would probably be best because most of the games that have this are like hundreds of gigs, and I, I don't feel like in installing a 175 gig game like God of War Ragnarok again because that would take too long, and it would be annoying. It would. So, uh... All right, and uh, we're back. And as you can see, we're still got frame gen on. Well, I hope you can see. Let me go to system and uh, head over to display settings. I'm trying to put this video together the best that I can, okay? It's it's difficult. Uh, is it in graphic settings? Yes, it is. It's right there. Frame generation is on. So let's turn it off. And let's see. So with it off, we're about 87 FPS, so it doesn't really add that much, which is annoying. Uh, but if we turn it on, I mean, I mean, it adds a fair bit. We're at 122, 25 FPS now. Not real FPS, of course, but still FPS. And let's run around. Still wind, because someone held in a fart too long and it erupted backwards. Killing the entire population. That is why they call it Steel Wind. Alright, let's skip ahead of this. Alright, magic burst. Blah, blah, blah. I forgot how to fight. Ow, you jerk. There we go, now we know how to fight. Oh, they're dead already? So the reports were true. We should Moving on. There may be more ahead. There we go. There may be more ahead. You have no idea. Welcome to Stillwind. <laughs> Stillwind. That's never not going to be funny. Leave me alone, dude. Like, don't interrupt people's fights when they're trying to have fun, okay? Here we go. We massacred everyone. I don't need to go in there, I believe. Do I need to go in there? No, I need to go in here. Uh, I believe it's just gonna like, no, we have to break it. It's so stupid. Like, that didn't need to be a thing. This game bugs me in so many ways. It tries so hard to be like Star Ocean, music, everything, visuals, but it just falls so flat with the gameplay. Uh, it bugs me, you know? Like, this could be an amazing game, but just the direction they took was a flop. PlayStation 2 had Star Ocean till the end of time, which was the third entry, and it was far better than this in every way. Movement, combat, you name Look at this. Look, what is this? At least when you did this in a PlayStation 2 game, okay, he actually ran all the way around instead of nin -nin -nin -nin. <clears throat> Developers don't try these days. All right, I think that is probably enough gameplay of this one. But should we include the boss fight that's about to come? 
Nah, I'll leave you guys guessing, you know? Do I recommend this game? No, this was the biggest waste of money that I've ever had. And uh, I can say that confidently. Alright, so the conversation about Cyberpunk is going to be a bit annoying. Uh, on NVIDIA, you lose 30% compared to Windows. It's annoying. It's a fact. It's a thing. And believe it or not, frame generation doesn't really help with that fact. It's annoying. So um, don't expect much. Hmm? Okay? And I want to actually get into game versus the uh, main cutscene because, <clears throat> well, the benchmarking tool. Yeah, you better focus in on me. Huh? Okay. Oh. It seems pretty smooth right now because it's probably at around 60 to 70 FPS. Now, let's go into settings, and let's go down. You can see that frame generation is currently on. I'm going to turn on ray reconstruction as well, because... Well, I kind of just hit apply on that. Thank you, because I want that on. Because it looks nicer. Can I hack into these? Nope. All right. Okay. Songbird, got my full attention. Glad yeah. to you must have questions, and I'll answer them in due course shortly. I wish I could show you the FPS, but all I'm here to show you is that DLSS works. Fine. No clue what I'm stepping into, but all right. you know, slow down. Usually I drive like an erratic psychopath in this game, and I've had comments complain, you don't know how to drive. Dude, I know how to drive. I just prefer not to. Like, this is one elaborate haze. I hate these. I hate these. I hate this freaking controller sometimes, because it's like, oh, you don't get to choose the features you want. Yeah. Like. It's like an actual pedal. Let's get out of here, shall we? You both can fuck off. I'm NCPD in pursuit of a suspect who just fled into Dogtown. And I give zero shits. So do I. Yeah. If in case you had any hopes of hell of surviving a gunfight here, just remember how outnumbered you are. Like, I'm going to. Mm, it's traceable though. Let's die a horrible, honorable death, shall we? Oh my god. We're so dead. Ah! Yeah, look at all the enemies coming. Okay. First one's coming this way. Oh no, no, no. There's one over there as well. Second one's dead. Wait, that opens? <laughs> I wish I knew that. Alright, so DLS works in there too. It's just really hard to show you guys, so... On to the next game, shall we? All right, so let's go to settings. And as you can see, we have frame gen on. Great. 
but we're going to turn it off. Okay, we're going to head into here. This is my first attempt at the game, which was fun. I still haven't 100%ed it, but I need to do that soon. <coughs> so, stare. Let's, let's look at the castle. Stop, stop, stop moving. Stop. Thank you. Uh, let's get a baseline. So the baseline for this is 113 to 119. Okay, that's the baseline. That's what we're going with. And uh, let's go back to graphics. We're maxed out, by the way. And let's turn frame generation on. And now we're at 122 to 169. There you go. Frame gen works. I mean, I could test more games. I could put more games in here. But I think three is enough. And honestly, I think you guys kind of get the point. Um, another thing is Cache OS just... Uh, added a build to their Cache OS build repos on GitHub, Proton Frame Gen. So that's nice. I think I'm going to be compiling and installing that instead of this one because I don't know where the hell this one came from. And I don't want you guys to have this one if it's weird, but I'm going to include it anyway in the description along with the, the package builds for the other one. So yeah, so those who are not on Arch can use the one in the description, and the ones who are, who are on Arch can use the Cache OS one. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. I hope you subscribe. It really helps. Don't forget to check the description if you want to become a YouTube member. That helps support me a lot. I also have Ko-Fi for those people who don't like YouTube and the stuff that it does. And I'll see you guys next time. I love this game. 17 hours of story is coming as paid DLC.